This is a Rotke Mods video. Hello, I'm Greg Rotke of Rotke Mods, and welcome to episode 3 of my 32-bit CPU Mac series. In this episode, I will be explaining to you how to set up your boot camp partition and also install Windows. I have already covered most of this material in other videos, so I will be giving you links up in the corner explaining to you what the link will show you and what it will teach you. Now first off, we will need to make our Windows 10 install disk. We will need a Windows computer to make this disk because of multiple reasons. One, we need to download the ISO file from Microsoft's Windows Media Creator tool, and we will need to patch it to make it work on our Mac because even the 32-bit version of Windows 10 does not work with the 32-bit EFI Macs in general. Click here at this link to take you to a video that explains to you how to do it. And at the end of the steps, you will end up with an ISO file that is called Win10x64 or something like that. Do not worry. As long as you're using a 32-bit ISO of Windows 10, it will still be 32-bit. It will just say 64-bit because the original tutorial was for 64-bit, but this works the same with 32-bit. Secondly, we will need to make our boot camp partition. And I originally did not know that Snow Leopard actually does have the boot camp assistant on the system. If you still want to make a manual partition, you can follow this link right here to show you how to make a manual boot camp partition. Anyway, so let's start with the boot camp setup. We will need to go down to our applications folder, then to utilities, and then boot camp assistant. Once this is open, I would recommend putting your disk into your Mac before we continue. After you have done that, unlike Boot Camp 4, for instance, you do not need a Windows disk to make your Boot Camp partition. We just need to click Continue. Now, when we get to this screen, we do not click Download Windows Support Software for this Mac. This is because Apple doesn't supply the download anymore, and you'll just get an error saying that it can't connect to the server. So we have to select, I have the Mac OS X install installation disk that came with my Mac. And in the next video, I will be showing you how to get the Boot Camp 4 files you need to enable all your functionality and drivers. So just select this and click continue. We will now be making our partition. In this case, you can either say divide equally or what I'm going to do is shrink my OS X partition down pretty small to roughly 20 gigabytes. I don't need a whole lot. This computer will mostly probably be using Windows for the future videos anyway, and I may need the extra storage. So after that is selected, we just click partition and it partitions. Once it is finished partitioning, we can now click Start Installation. And the Mac will restart. Now the system will boot into boot camp mode and start booting off the disk. And there we have it. Now in this case, this part will take a very, very long time to start showing anything. In fact, you may think that your Mac has frozen. Just let it sit. This may take possibly up to 10 minutes. Of course, if it hasn't done anything within 30 minutes, you should restart your Mac. But this should start doing something within the next five minutes. Of course, I'm not going to be waiting for that. In fact, I'm not covering how to install Windows in this video. If you want to learn how to do that, just click this link right here to see a video explaining to you how to install Windows on your Mac. So anyway, that is the end of this video. Thank you for watching, and this has been a Rutke Mods video.